Hi, Happy New Year! Welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in my Illustrated Faith Bible and my Mini Garden Bible. What I'm showing you right now is my Agenda 52 planner that I have been using over the last year. Today's video is about keeping your vows to God. I know it's the new year and a lot of people do New Year's resolutions, Christians and non-Christians alike. I am not against it. I just personally don't do it for this reason that I'm about to say. And this is a personal conviction according to the scripture. So I'm, I know that I'm not mistaken in what I'm feeling, but it's just something that I'm convicted by and I'm just leery about doing. And so again, I am not, let me put this disclaimer out there. I am not against anyone who does New Year's resolutions, Christian or non-Christian. Last year, I set up this page, some goals that I wanted to do for 2019, and there were some spiritual goals, and then there were some creative goals. And I put my spiritual goals on this side of the page, and they were like more confidence in his word, praying more, uh, standing on his word, speaking the truth, even if my voice shakes kind of thing. You know, sometimes it's hard for some of us to not tell the truth, but a hard truth to someone but it's necessary so that's something that I wanted to work on spiritually for the year and then my creative worship I'm trying to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better and then my creative worship were a couple of things that I wanted to achieve and do as well flipping over to my creative worship there were a couple of things that I wanted to just make sure I did last year that I needed to just brush up on I wanted to use my Cricut machine more I wanted to use my stamps more. I wanted to make sure that I did a try it Tuesday once a month and a find it Friday once a month. And then just again, increasing my um, whole Bible journaling journey and check off. That's what I did. And uh, again, they're not resolutions for me. There's a difference between a resolution and a goal. A goal is something that you want to achieve. A resolution is something that you resolve to do. You make up in your mind, you're going to do it no matter what and that's where the danger comes in because life kicks in and you have good intentions with your heart but sometimes your flesh doesn't follow through and then we get discouraged that oh no we made these resolutions and they didn't come true or we didn't follow through with them and we made all of these plans and all of these things and we made all of these vows to God and they come to naught sometimes or we start out hot in, in the beginning of January and then after that it just fizzles out throughout the year that's not everyone it's just a natural thing that happens with people who make resolutions and they just don't stick with it so for me I just steer clear of it and then when I came across the scripture in Ecclesiastics reading about making a vow to God when you make a vow to God to keep it and it's better to not make a vow than to make a vow and break it and so that was for me was like definitely no resolutions for me. I'll stick with my goals and I'll try to achieve them and I'll pray that the Lord would give me strength to achieve these goals and that he would get glory out of them. And so I won't feel like I've made a vow to God. I didn't. It's just some things that I would like to achieve, some things that I would like to grow closer to him in. And I'm praying constantly for his guidance and his strength to do it. And that's what I encourage you to do. I don't want you to feel like Again, for me, that you shouldn't make resolutions. Do it. If you resolve in your heart to do something, my my encouragement to you is to just make sure you stay before the Lord and to ask him to strengthen you in that vow making. Because when we make that, oh God, I'm never going to do this again. Or, oh God, I'm going to do this and I'm going to stop doing this. And making all these vows, it becomes hypocritical and insincere. And that's just something I don't want to grapple with you know we I have enough sin in my life I have enough struggles in my life I don't want to make broken promises to the Lord and I'm encouraging you to just stay before the Lord thank you for watching and remember if I can Bible journal so can you today I'm using a couple of different things I printed out the word keep your vows um, on cardstock and a journaling card and I will be journaling it in my mini Bible that'll go there and then I have my elements for my illustrated faith bible because i like to use these for big bold statements and i just want this to be a reminder to me to keep my vows and any vow that i make to make sure that i hold fast to them 
some of the history behind Ecclesiastic chapter 5 is the first seven verses is that Solomon had been going into worship and he noticed that a lot of times people were going into the temple like we go into the church and they were going praising and worshiping and doing those things that we do. But what he noticed was that in the midst of people praising and prayer and worshiping, he also noticed that people were making a lot of vows to God. And what he also saw is that, I mean, this is a community. So when you go to church, you know just about some people in your community and they weren't following through with the vows that they were exclaiming before the Lord and it was becoming hypocritical and insincere and he was just being the wise person that he was he was just warning us and them that don't go into the house of God ready to say a bunch of words to the Lord and make all of these commitments to the Lord and then have no desire to follow through with them it's better to just go into the house of the Lord to close your mouth and hear what he has to say and then obey him, you know, so that was like really helpful for me to understand the background to not just this verse, but what was going on at the culture at the time. And a lot of times people would make vows when they got into really tough situations and, you know, and, and a lot of anguish and things like that. And so, you know, they make unrealistic uh, commitments to God if you do this and we, we you know God is not to be bargained with and bartered with and anything like that or anything like that so again the warning was just to be careful that if you're going to make a vow before the Lord be serious about the vow that you're going to make and follow through with it and I wanted to just put this on my page as a reminder that this is very important to me and that if I just seek the Lord in anything that I'm trying to to do he will empower me he'll be faithful to me and I must be faithful to him in that keeping of the vow I have to be an active participant in it so it's not going to happen by osmosis or just because I will it to happen but it's going to take discipline and obedience and all of those things and I wanted to just encourage myself and you that if we're going to say we're going to do something for the Lord stick with it or just don't say it at all if you're in a struggle just ask the Lord to help you in the struggle and let that be it as opposed to making these uh, commitments that may not come to pass so I decided to, to journal this in my mini garden Bible. For those of you who are new to my channel, what a mini, mini garden Bible is, it was inspired by Cat Woods and Emma Vickers who, Vickers, who also have YouTube channels, and they got inspired from someone else who called a small Bible a mini garden Bible. And just like a garden, when you plant a garden, it begins to grow when you water it and you feed it and uh, do all those things to nurture the ground so it is with the mini garden Bible it begins to grow and in the beginning of this I showed you how much I've done in the book it's growing it's my garden and I see all the colors in it, and I see all the of the devotions that I put in it and it just reminds to me of my growth hopefully and prayerfully in the Lord and I can always go back and just read the snippets of encouragement and they're just really quick because it's a small Bible they're just really quick nuggets of truth that I gleaned from scripture or devotion that I've read and it's just a beautiful reminder to have and it's great for in your purse on the go if you go to a hotel and you're traveling you just have something that you uh, can work in you don't have to worry about anything bulky or anything like that so I hope you were encouraged by this video whatever resolutions you made if you made any or anything that you want to achieve just keep it and stay before the before the Lord and watch him strengthen you through it take care